in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the core principle of the cover four match defense in Madden 22, how it works a little bit in real life, but more so how it works in Madden and how we can actually tr um, adapt this coverage to make it really, really effective against a number of different uh, offenses. This is my favorite defense because one of the reasons I love it so much is because it adapts to the offense. And so we're going to teach you a little bit about how that works in this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. Every day we do videos like this that can help you become a better Madden player. And um, if you want to get really serious about your game, I would really encourage you to join my Patreon membership. My Patreon membership is where you can get all of my Madden 22 uh, strategy eBooks, uh, where we have our full offensive and defensive guides in there. Also, every week in our Patreon, we're going to be doing weekly pro tips, meta updates um, to kind of keep you on top of you know what's the latest uh, little strategy. Um, it's not necessarily meant to be focused on one formation as much like an ebook would, but it's really more something that you can apply to multiple different formations, right? Um, whether it be a, a mechanic on how to lurk better or a, a mechanic on how to use or catch or some of that kind of stuff. So I'd really encourage you to join our membership. The other thing that I want to let you know that we do offer for our Patreon members is personalized messaging platforms uh, within Patreon that allow you to just get your questions answered and really allow um, you to be able to have some you know real good resources uh, just in terms of helping you become a better player. So if you want to get better at the game, I'd really encourage you to join the uh, Patreon membership. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. But in this video, I wanted to talk to you today um, primarily um, primarily about the match coverage, or at least my favorite defense in the game, the cover four quarters. And um, this is a defense. So if you go through the nickel, um, if you take a look at the nickel uh, formation, you're going to notice that if you go to, I mean, you can do any of these uh, packages. But if you go to the nickel 245, you're going to see that it's got a couple different coverages within it. And the coverage that we're going to be talking about today is the cover four quarters. Now, for just for some clarity's sake, I want to say uh, one thing real quick on that. And that is if you go over here to the 335 wide, you're going to notice that they have this cover four show too. And if you come over to the 335 odd, you're going to notice that they have a cover four drop. If you notice the the, the purple zones um, in cover four drop, they're a little bit darker, right? They're purple. If you look closely over to the cover six, you're going to notice that they are pink. That is your indicator that it is a matching uh, coverage. And if you even look even closely um, at some of the deep blues, they are just a slightly different. But again, on the 335 wide, if you take a look here, you're going to notice that they have the pink purple zones um, that are in the cover six. They're also in the cover four uh, quarters. So what that signals is that the cover four show two out of three, three, five wide is going to defend very um, exactly like cover four quarters. Okay. So with that in mind, uh, if you learn quarters, you can apply this to your three, three, five wide defense as well. I run this out of I kind of go back and forth between nickel normal and nickel 335 wide. I like nickel 335 wide because it's uh, a little bit easier to adjust out of, but I like nickel normal because you get all of the match coverages um, in this. And so I'm going to go through just a couple of other examples like cover six, cover four palms. Those are different principles built within the coverage. Um, but the cover four quarters is what we're going to take a look at today and primarily just kind of the foundation for how this coverage works. And I wanted to spend a little bit more significant time uh, talking about this because this defense, I think, is actually becoming, in my opinion, the best defense in Madden 22 because it's really good in the sense that they're going to help your, they're going to adapt to the routes that they run, right? So the way that this coverage basically works is if you can count to three, in essence, you can play quarters coverage. What I mean by that is we're going to number the receivers from the outside to the inside of the formation based on number. Um, and then we're also going to divide the formation in half based off the center. So in this example, we have two receivers to the left side of the formation. We have two receivers to the right side of the formation. And then we have a running back in the backfield. Now, if I was to move the running back to the outside, um, let me just put him on a little route here. You would see I could motion him. And now we have two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left, and a running back in uh, on the left side. And if I motion him out, you see he comes out. Now notice that the middle linebacker on the three-rack hook motions and follows the running back. See that right there? 
that's because he's in relationship with the running back. Now, if I were to go to, I'm just going to audible to a couple of other formations. Let's say that I'm in gun bunch, for example. Now, if you take a look closely at the defense, you're going to notice a couple things. So if you look at this defense, where we have three receivers to the right, we have one receiver to the left and a running back to the left side of the screen. So in essence, the three receiver hook is gonna now be playing in relationship with the tight end. At least kind of is how it's gonna basically work in the bunch. Now, if I was in, let's say that I was in a trips, kind of like a trip set, let me see if I could find like a Y off trio, then you would see it makes it a little bit easier to do this, okay? So that's kind of the basic general numbering system of this. So when I say the number one receiver to the right side of the screen, we would be talking about Chris Godwin. If I say the number two receiver to the right side of the screen, we're talking about Rob Gronkowski. And if I say the running back or the number three receiver to the right side of the screen, we're talking about Leonard Fournette. On the left side of the screen, the number one receiver would be Mike Evans and the number two receiver would be Johnson. Now, if they were to motion, let's say they were to motion their tight end to the left, now we have three receivers to the left and one receiver to the right. So that's kind of the basic numbering system, just in terms of how the coverage works. Now, what I love about this coverage is these two players right here are your most important players in this defense, Adrian Amos and Darnell Savage. And uh, essentially how this is going to work is they are going to either help with this deep post or they're not going to help based off of the pattern that these underneath receivers are running. Now, these quarter flat zones, in my opinion, are not necessarily that effective this year. I like to actually turn these into curl flats. You can do this either by manually hot riding them to curl flats or just shading their coverage upfield. And the reason why is because that's gonna be a little bit better of a representation of what their basic core um, job assignment is gonna be. And what we wanna essentially do is create this little underneath kind of uh, coverage that's gonna keep everything underneath. So if we're using this guy in the middle of the field, right, then what we would wanna do is drop one of our D linemen into a three rec hook. The way you do that is by bluff blitzing them. So you see, we could do it kind of like this. And we're still gonna get really good sheds with our defense. Now, another little trick you can do is you can take one of these guys um, and put them in a, you know, a vert hook if you wanted to do that or something like that. But anyways, essentially what's gonna happen and how the coverage is going to work is if the number one receiver on the left side of the screen goes on a vertical route, a vertical route would be, for example, a skinny post, it would be a curl, it would be a in route, it would be a out route, you know, something like that. There's a no cover zone in quarters that is about zero to five to seven yards, right? And that's for things like drag. So if I had a drag to Mike Evans, then this defender is gonna say he's not threatening the defense vertically, so I'm gonna pass him to these underneath zones, the curl flat, the three rack, the curl flat, or the quarter flats if you leave them on the field. And then what's gonna happen is that corner is going to now turn his attention to the number two receiver and help on him. And what that's part of why I love this defense because they, they help bracket some of these bigger routes. Now, this defender is doing the same thing. He's looking at his guy, which is Johnson. If Johnson runs a route more than 10 yards down the field, so a corner, a post, a curl, anything, that is more than 10 yards down the field, as long as he's not in the no cover zone, he's gonna guard him man to man. However, if Johnson runs a drag and Evans runs a post, Savage will then help and basically you'll get a double team on the post. So in this example, you'll see right here that if I was to snap this ball, that outside quarter on the left will help on this corner route and you see that it can make it really, really good um, to be able to defend something like that. This is also very, very helpful. Um, let's say that your opponent is running some smash concepts. This is really good for smash. You see there, see how the quarters doubles the corner and then that quarter flat floats outside to be able to defend the, you know, the little route to the hitch. And that's basically the rules. Um, it's the, it's a, you know, a really nice little coverage and it works the same on both sides of the field. So on the right side, if, Gronkowski goes 
on a flat and Godwin goes on a dig, you'll get a double team on the in route and you'll see that underneath zone take that route. So you see that's kind of how the coverage works there. So it's exactly the same on both sides. Now, um, from a you know from a defensive perspective, the number one thing you have to understand is really the biggest question for a quarter's coverage is how are we going to act with a third receiving threat? So in this example, we got Fournette, right? So let's say that we take, um, you know, let's say we put Fournette on a streak, we put Godwin on an out, and then we take Gronkowski and put him on a slant. Now that number three is threatening vertical. So notice, guess who guards him? The three receiver hook zone or three receiver hook defender. Now in this example, it's a little bit different um, than honestly, it's, I, I would say that this coverage honestly kind of breaks it down a little bit. What you should see is this quarter flat kind of take that. You see it, it does happen late where that outside quarter on the right does go with him. So what I like to do to help my coverage and make it a little bit easier for my personal responsibility is I know that if I bluff blitz this defender, he's on the side of the running back, he will always guard the running back man-to-man. -man. So it doesn't really matter what the running back runs. This three rag should go guard him man-to-man. -man. See how he guards him perfectly inside and, and guards the running back really well. So that's kind of my little trick, with, especially against spread, is I'll just take the defensive end and put him in coverage on the running back. And you're gonna get concepts that are basically like this right here. This is a very common um, you know, spread concept, very good for zone. But what you'll see is now I can use her the whole middle of the field. Any route that's a problem I can help with. And you'll see that the defense is perfectly intact. And obviously, you know, they have if the route beats man, then yeah, it could beat the match coverage. But by and large, this really helps your defense now let's move let's kind of do just a, a short tutorial um at the tail end of this on motion so let's say they motion gronkowski over here now what you're going to get in this example is essentially your quarters coverage is going to kind of shift just just slightly and the way that it's going to shift is let's say that you get a you know a four like a, like a vertical route to Gronkowski, a corner route to Johnson, and let's say you get an underneath in route to Evans. If you get something like this, you're gonna see that the coverage will kind of slightly shift, but really doesn't shift that much. It really comes down to, again, how does the defense going, how is the defense going to play that number three receiving threat in their coverage? So whenever we motion Gronkowski over here, these two safeties, Savage and Stokes, they're still playing their standard rules. Now what you're going to get is you're going to get this three receiver hook who's going to now play a coverage in combination with this defender, Amos. And so if we were to send Gronkowski on the vertical and do something kind of like this, watch, notice who guards him. You're going to see that that safety from the backside is the guy that guards the number three receiver. So let's say that that number three receiver was to go on a crossing route across the formation, okay? Very popular from like a, a tray open or a, a, you know, a trips tight end type of scenario. Now what you're going to notice with the coverage is that safety is going to come over and guard him and notice how the three rag and the safety are going to carry that defender or that, that, that route vertical across the formation so really what you're getting is the quarter zone is now kind of poaching or helping leverage that number three if the number three goes vertical if the number three does not go vertical then i'll show you what happens here and this is something that you'll really enjoy for uh, any kind of backside skinny post so let's say that you get a combination that you know basically looks you know somewhat like this Watch that safety on the left. You see he's gonna look like he's gonna to go to him, but he's not going on a vertical route. So now he double teams that skinny post over the top. So that's kind of the basic nuts and bolts as to the core principles behind the quarters coverage and how it works. It really is a great defense for especially defending any kind of set. I like it because it's very easily adaptable. The coverage kind of rolls over to the formational strength 
whether that be through a two by two spread with a running back on one side, or whether it be to like a bunch or a trick set where you have three receiving threats on one side and that safety is now kind of working over the top and handling anything vertically. Thanks for watching the video guys. I've got a full match ebook where I literally walk you through step by step every single match defense in this game and how it works against probably the majority, I would say the top five or six main formations you're gonna get in this game. So if you wanna check that out, I'm gonna put a link to that in the description. You can get all of that material by joining my Patreon. It also comes with all of my Madden 22 eBooks, any updates to those eBooks, and our weekly pro tips and weekly uh, updates that we do every single week for you guys. So thanks for watching the video. If you wanna get more, I would really encourage you to sign up for our Patreon membership down below.